the 4th generation iPad Pro, the 8th generation iPad, and now the new 4th generation iPad Air, powered by the A14 Bionic chip. This processor is more powerful than the A12 found in the iPad and the A12Z found in the iPad Pro. Heck, if you think about it, this could be the most affordable iPad Pro yet. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, Zaki. That can't be right. The iPad Pro is simply the best. All other iPads wish they were pros. That's, that's bad. <laughs> okay, you've got the best of the best, but not everybody uses every single feature of the iPad Pro to its full potential. Do you really need quad speakers on the iPad if you're using the AirPods Pro? I don't think so. Or having a one terabyte iPad Pro when you barely use the storage? So what the folks at Apple have done is to essentially, well, strip some of its more premium features and bing bang boom, and got yourself this, the fourth generation iPad. This is good. What's up everybody, Zaki here from Geek Culture, and in this video, we will be taking an exclusive look at Apple's newest premium tablet of 2020, the fourth generation iPad. Stay tuned. Mm. So, why the different iPads? Well, it depends on what the right tablet means to you. The right size, the right prices, the right amount of power, the right amount of functionality, and lastly, the right port. So it has compatibility with the accessories you want or already own. Ding. So without further ado, let's get into the nitty gritty details. Shall we? First of all, the fourth generation iPad looks stunning, ravishing, stunishing. This is what, what, what I'm gonna call it. Stunishing. We will kindly pass this geeky green unit with a metallic finish that really matches our geek culture colors. <laughs> Doesn't it just warm the cockles of your heart? Weighing at only 460 grams for the Wi-Fi and cellular version, it sports a similar, almost identical chassis as the iPad Pro, and also features an H2.8 screen with no home button. Mm hmm how about them apples? This model comes in an anti-reflective coated 10.9 inch liquid retina display. A2360 by 1640 pixel resolution at 264 pixels per inch. The fourth generation iPad Air has a 60Hz refresh rate and a screen brightness of 500 nits. Of course, the standout feature of the fourth generation iPad is the A14 Bionic chip. It's actually the first device of any kind to be announced with this brand new processor, which is also powering the iPhone 12 smartphones. This latest generation A-series chip features a new 6-core design for a 40% boost in CPU performance and a new 4-core graphics architecture for a 30% improvement in, well, graphics. Combining all that horsepower with a 16-core neural engine that delivers performances twice as fast. We are talking about like next level. If this was Fast and Furious, then we got like NASCAR, like it's it's like F1 level, F1, you know. We are talking about machine learning apps, editing, working under heavy workloads, 3D rendering, gaming. Want to try to say it's, it's blazing fast? No. We tested the fourth generation iPad Air and with a total score of 651,627 points on and and to do and to do and and to do and to do and to do making the fourth generation iPad Air just shy of beating the third generation iPad Pro and outperforming the iPhone 11 Pro Max. You see what I did there? That that was planned. Yeah. Cool, huh? And before you ask. It's perfectly capable of running PUBG at 90Hz on smooth. There, said it, done. Done, stop, no, done. Along with its amazing performance, the iPad Air is also capable of giving its users up to 10 hours of battery life thanks to its 28.6 watt hour rechargeable battery. 
And of course, those who are planning to pick up the Wi-Fi and cellular model, you can expect up to 9 hours of battery life, but that all depends on your usage. You can expect about 2 hours and 47 minutes-ish from a zero to a full charge. So that's pretty much the basics. Let's take a minute to see what Apple has done to redesign the iPad Air. To give users an even larger display, of course, they took out the home button, but the Touch ID sensor now doubles as the sleep button, giving users a fast and secure way to unlock their iPad Air, download apps, and make purchases through Apple Pay. USB-C for charging is back, and on top of that, it enables 5 gigabytes per second of data transfer, which is 10 times faster, which means that you can connect your external 4K monitors, your external hard drives, and more in this iteration of the iPad Air, which is a huge, huge plus. And with the super fast Wi-Fi 6 capability, you can be well assured that you will stay connected whether you're working from home or anywhere, actually, as long as there's Wi-Fi. Right? Unfortunately, the iPad Air is not 5G enabled, but Apple has made improvements on its LTE connectivity by making it 60% faster. We also see the second generation Apple Pencil making its way to the iPad Air. Combined with iPad OS 14, Scribble offers new ways to work with handwritten notes. Its aim is to make handwriting as useful as text on screen. And so the iPad OS 14 will make handwriting, especially like mine, it's totally awesome! And convert it into text. It's also perfect for drawing, note taking, marking up documents. Moreover, no more plugging in that Apple Pencil. Just simply snap on and snap off. Unlike the eighth generation iPad. Come on guys, Apple Pencil G1, seriously? Apple is of course known for their cameras and the iPad Air does not disappoint. There's a built-in 7 megapixel FaceTime HD camera and a 12 megapixel rear camera that's perfect for taking amazing photos or video calling your friends and family. There's also 4K video support up to 60 frames per second and slow-mo video support for 1080p at either 120 frames per second or 240 frames per second. And in terms of accessories, Apple's got you covered. Aside from the smart keyboard folio, iPad owners can now choose to purchase this glorious Magic Keyboard retailing for $439 Singapore dollars for the 11 inch model and $519 Singapore dollars for the 12.9 inch model. With a new floating design that makes it seem that your iPad is floating midair. It features a magnetic base for your tablet to be placed on and uses the same scissor mechanism as the keyboard on the 16 inch MacBook Pro. Quality man, quality. Prices for the 4th generation iPad Air starts from 879 Singapore dollars for the Wi-Fi model and 1079 Singapore dollars for the Wi-Fi and cellular model. They are available in 5 exciting colors, silver, space grey, rose gold, green and sky blue and are available in either 64GB or 256GB configurations. For those who have not gotten one, the second generation Apple Pencil will be made available for purchase separately at 138 Singapore dollars. Of course, smart covers are available for the iPad Air, retailing at 75 Singapore dollars. For those who want something more personalized in style. There are seasonal colors available such as deep navy, cypress green, and pink citrus. So, that's it folks. If you're looking for a professional tablet that's not only sleek and lightweight, but even has the capability of powering through heavy workloads and even competitive gaming, while still maintaining a pretty decent price, you can expect the iPad Pro Lite, I, I mean the iPad Air, to be a pretty damn good deal. And if you like what you see, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Do comment down below which is your favorite iPad or what's your favorite part of the iPad Air. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and smash that notification bell icon so you can stay updated to our latest unboxings, reviews, and geeky tidbits. Until then, this is Zeki signing off. Wahoo!